And there I am, the kids. Again, there's two stories I want to tell about how the kids saw me. And uh, these, my, one of my favorites was Bernard. I was uh, explaining on the blackboard some wonderfully complicated arithmetical theory that I was very beautifully and uh, educationally explaining to them. They did this wonderful job of it. And I turned around and asked if anybody had any questions. And Bernard raised his hand. Yeah, Bernard, what is it? He said, Ms. Wagon. Well, he couldn't say Wagon. He couldn't say Wagoner. That was too hard. I was Ms. Wagon. But Ms. Wagon, how come you got them funny colored eyes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Bernard, I've got these colored eyes because they're the colored eyes my mama had. And my granddaddy, too. And you've got the colored eyes you got because of that one. And then finally I said, Bernard, you know, a lot of white people got my colored eyes. Ms. Wagon, is you white? <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> but they, they were, I, I never could, you know, just the innocence of it. The complete, um, but also the, the um, well, there was no, there was no even tinge of, a, uh, of anything being wrong or bad about it. But then when we come to uh, Calvin, uh, there was a white substitute, and this boy was a little bit difficult. He was one of the bigger boys too, and he was having a fit in the hall and calling her all kinds of dirty names, a white hoe and all that stuff. Yeah. And I, I went up to him and I, and I, I said, Calvin, I can't have you doing that. No, you can't. Just don't talk like that. I don't want to hear you saying things like any house. I'm white and I don't like it. Ms. Wagon, you ain't white. You ain't white. You ain't white. White was bad. I was good. And I couldn't be white. Bingo. That big cat there. Uh, he just, it's in there. He's in there. He has 400 years. Some of you may have heard about the Blackstone Rangers. They were very famous for a while. They went to uh, Washington. They put on a big show. They did. They were on television. Well, they were my boys. They were my kids. And <clears throat> a lot of them. And the it was 20 years I was there. I, took, I had some of their, their children in my classes. But uh, <clears throat> there was a rumor that my daughters were going to a laboratory school at the University of Chicago. And they're right across the midway from teaching, and I heard a rumor that the um, Blackstone Rangers were going to beat up on the lab school kids. So <clears throat> I passed the word that I wanted to see one of the main 21, the, you know, the, they were the bosses. Well, a notice came a couple of days later from the principal's office that I was wanted in the principal's office. Well, well when I got there, I was, I was really astounded. The gang, Jeff Clark was there, he was the leader. And they were, they were so impressive that the principal had, had Jeff wait in his office, call me to the office, and he left the office so Jeff and I could have a conference. Well, that, that's, that's the power that the gang had. And of course, I asked him if there was any truth in the matter, you know, were, were my kids in danger at all? Oh, no, Ms. Wagon, ain't nobody gonna hurt Julie, and nobody gonna hurt anybody. Because one of, one of them, Amy's sisters, was coming over in the afternoon to teach a dance class after school uh, as, as a volunteer. And I was worried about that, too, that she was going to have to walk into this dangerous neighborhood if they were going to be dangerous. Well, that was just a, um, a rumor, I really think, in the end. Uh, the neighborhood really went downhill before the gangs came in. All the respectable people left, and it became really, Was wonderful. And I, I, was, I, I think I was getting old or something because I didn't walk so much anymore. I, maybe it was a matter of time too to get down there in the car. But anyhow, one day I was sitting at 
identified them, and Watusi came in. Watusi was about 45 feet tall, and he had a do-rag on, and he had his open boots on, and, and he came in. He had my wallet in his hand. Ms. Wagon, you should not leave your wallet on the front seat of your car. Someone will break in and steal it. I did march with Martin Luther King. Um, it seems like a big deal now. Uh, it wasn't really that much of a, of a big deal. Uh, we had some had friends who were, uh, and everything like that, and one day they had asked me what I, what I, I'm going to march with them. They were going to. This was down in Marquette Park, and it was the, it was the um, march where Dr. King was hit in the head with a brick. Uh, it was about open housing. We, were, we really wanted to have open housing in Chicago. And uh, actually, we did get a little piece of it for that. But uh, there, were, there were hundreds and hundreds of people. And we were kind of at the end. And we did get stuff, missiles thrown at us. But uh, and it was, um, I got a lot of mileage out of it. My, my credentials, you know, are very good because one, somebody was accusing me of being a racist, and then one of the, one of the teachers at school, there's a black teacher, so the other one said, she's no racist, she marched with Dr. King. <laughs> it, it, it helped from that point of view, and I guess it did. I felt good about it. Uh, but it wasn't, it was, uh, it wasn't as big a deal as people seem to think now. Um,
to the change. Uh, and I, this was very, 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 very white. The school was very, 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 very white. And I'm accustomed to seeing a lot of black faces. As a matter of fact, when I was teaching, when I'd go into the washroom, I'd be to look in the mirror. My face was the wrong color. I just, it, you know, some stuff was going to be left and right. But then I found in the statistics about Wisconsin, the gap between black and white kids at the eighth grade level on uh, achievement tests is the highest in the nation. The highest in Wisconsin, the highest in the nation. Wisconsin leads the nation in the incarceration of black boys. So my kids are still in trouble. And that I just, I, I just, I just really wanted to bring that home. Because we, we owe these kids so much. We've come so far. 